This video will solve equations where we have x on both sides. Uh, we'll first add or subtract from both sides and then we'll divide. We'll look at these five examples. Okay. So the first example, 9x equals 3x plus 60. And uh, oh, just for fun, just imagine if that was 9 times um, the number of uh, uh, the uh, uh, well, let's say nine hours times um, the hourly wage, right? Equals three hours times the hourly wage uh, plus sixty dollars. So, basically, just to try to describe a real life example, if um, this could be looked at as if you work nine hours, that's the same as working three hours and being given sixty dollars. Right, so 9x equals 3x plus 60, where x is the hourly wage. So in that case, what is the hourly wage, or what is the x? Does that make sense? In other words, 9 times what equals 3 times what plus 60? Can you fill in the missing number? Take a guess. Just for fun, just take a guess, and then we'll solve it. So 9 times, it has to be the same number, because see it's x in both cases, the x, x is the same number. So what's the missing number here? 9 times what equals 3 times what plus 60? So 9 times 10, right? 90 equals 30 plus 60, right? So the hourly wage would be 10. Uh, so there's a, a kind of a real life example, uh, just for fun. Anyway, what we're here to learn in this video is that you can subtract an x term from both sides. I think we saw this once before, but here we have it again. You can subtract an x term from both sides. Now, in this case, we have two x terms. We have 9x, 3x, and we also have a number, which is 60. So the x terms are like terms, and then the 60 is, is just a number. The trick with these equations is you've got to get your letters on one side, numbers on the other. So if you want to write that down, the, the whole key is to get um, I will just say x on one side, basically. Just get x on one side, numbers on the other, right? So the x terms on one side, the numbers on the other, right? So to get all the x's on one side, you probably want to leave this number in place. So you want to leave the 60 alone there. We probably want to get rid of that guy See, if I, I want to get rid of the 3x, and then if I do that, the 60 will be by itself. So how do you get rid of that 3x? What would you do? You'd subtract 3x from both sides, wouldn't you? See, if I subtract 3x from both sides, 9x minus 3x is, in fact, 6x. And see how I'm adding like terms. 3x minus 3x is no x. Nothing. Zero. It's gone. Right? Zero x. And so on the right hand side I have 0x plus 60, or basically just 60. And so I have 6x equals 60. Now how would you get the answer? See, x is being times by 6, so we divide by 6 on both sides. And the 6 is cross cancel, and we're left with x on the left. And what do we get on the right? 10. And so that and that was the answer we decided it should be x equals 10. So if you work nine hours at ten dollars an hour, that's the same as working three hours at ten dollars an hour and getting sixty dollars in, in tips or cash, right? Okay. So uh, and and, and th that ten solves the equation. So write this one down. Seven x equals x plus two. Write it down and see if you can solve it. Write it down, press pause and solve this one by yourself. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it now. So the trick is to get the x's on one side, numbers on the other. And if you look at this, you already have a number over here. So we're going to leave him there, leave the 2 there. And we might get rid of this guy. See, if I get rid of that x, then I'll just have the 2 by itself. And obviously, we'll have x terms on the other side. So how do I get rid of that x? What do I do to get rid of that x? So I'll subtract x, won't I? So if I subtract x from there, and I could also subtract x from there, right? 
So 7x minus x is what? You think of x as 1x, right? So this is 7x equals 1x plus 2. And just write in a 1. It doesn't take long. Just do that. 1. See? And they're subtracting 1x from both sides. 7x minus 1x is 6x, again. And 1x minus 1x is 0x, or nothing. So that goes away. And I have a, a plus 2, or a 2. So you end up with 6x on the left and 2 on the right. And you know how to solve it from here, right? So we'll go ahead and solve it from here if you haven't done so yet. Okay, so we need to divide both sides by 6. 6x divided by 6, well the 6 is cross cancel, so you're left with x equals and 2 sixths. You can put that in lowest terms. Put 2 6 in lowest terms if you haven't done so yet. So 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 6 goes 3 times. So we have x equals one third. Okay. And let's do this example. Negative eight x equals negative x minus one. By all means, press pause and try it yourself. But I'm going to walk through this one anyway, and then hopefully you can do uh, the next one. So if you want to press pause and do it yourself, otherwise we'll walk through it together. So when you see negative x, what do I always say? Change your negative x to what? What can you? What's the coefficient of that negative x there? What's the coefficient? What's the? What number can you put in front of it? Well, you can put a what? A, you can put a one. If you put a one there, then it might help a little bit because, again, you want to get x's on one side, numbers on the other, right? So, we want to. Kind of here's a negative one number, so we want to leave that number there by himself. See, so we want to get rid of the negative one x. So to get rid of him, what are we going to do? We're going to subtract, or we're going to add. Would you add or subtract to get rid of a negative one x? To get rid of a negative one x, you would add one x. If you add one x to here, you see negative one x plus one x is zero x. Nothing, it's gone. And so that's why we're adding 1x. And if, if I add to the right of the scales balance, I must also add to the left of the scales balance, right? So what do we get on the on both sides of the equation now? Write down what the equation becomes. Have you got it? It's a negative 8x. That's 8 negatives plus 1x. That's 1 positive. That makes a negative 7x equals, and this is 0, and then we just have a, not a 1 but a negative 1. Negative 7x equals negative 1. Okay? And its x is being multiplied by negative 7, so to get it by itself, we need to divide by negative 7 on both sides. Okay? So on the left, we have negative over negative positive, 7 over 7, 1, positive 1x. One right? So we have x equals, and on the right, negative over negative positive and it's one seventh x equals one seventh right now press pause write this one down and do it all yourself negative four y equals negative three y minus six press pause do the whole thing yourself and then check the video to see if you got the right answer okay i'm going to do it now so the trick is to get x's on one side, numbers on the other. Or in this case, to get y on one side, numbers on the other. So we have a negative 4y term, a negative 3y term, and then a negative 6. The negative 6 is a number. We're going to leave that number by itself. We're going to get rid of the negative 3y somehow. Did you do that? To get rid of a negative 3y, do you need to add or subtract? You need to add. Okay, You need to add 3y to both sides. Okay. If you add 3y to both sides, negative 4y plus 3y, that's 4 negatives and 3 positives. What do you get on both sides of the equation if you do that? Write it down. If you haven't got it yet, write it down now. So negative 4y, that's 4 bad guys, plus 3y, that's 3 good guys. 4 bad guys and 3 good guys. Did you get negative 1y or negative y, same thing? So you could also just write negative y, same thing. Negative 1y equals what do you get on the right? 
See the negative 3y plus 3y makes 0, nothing, no y, and we're left with a negative 6. Not a positive 6, a negative 6 on the right, and we're still not done because negative y isn't good enough. We have to end up with positive y equals something, not negative y. Got to keep going. So, how do you get positive y? What do you do? Negative y is the same as negative 1y, remember. So you divide both sides by negative 1. And we end up with positive y equals negative over negative positive 6. Okay. Now, please write this one down and try it yourself. And if you get stuck on it, that's just fine because uh, this is one that sometimes students get stuck on, something like this. So I want you to write down 2x minus 5 equals negative 3x. I want you to write down, press pause on the video, do it all yourself, see what happens. Okay. So I hope you tried it. I really hope you try this one yourself. A lot of students make a mistake on this. They forget they can have 0 on one side. They can forget that you can also continue to add and subtract to both sides. But the trick is to get the x's on one side, the numbers on the other, right? So what we need to do is, we need to recognize that there's a negative 5 here by himself. And there's two x terms. It would be quickest of all to get rid of the 2x and have all the x's over on that side. Now most students will try to add 3x and then they say they make a mistake along the way. But the trick is to subtract the, well one way is if you subtract the 2x from both sides, 2x minus 2x is 0, you're left with a negative 5 on the, on the left, not a 5, but a negative 5. And negative 3x minus 2x is negative 5x, okay? And you're solving, solving for x. So divide both sides by negative 5, okay? And on the left we have negative over negative is positive 1. Okay, and on the right we have x. So x equals 1 is the answer. And, and um, I mean, you could have solved it other ways. I mean, it's not a big problem if you add 3x to begin with. But you just have to remember that you have 5x minus 5. And where's the equal sign? See, the equal sign is here, and that's equal to 0, okay, because negative 3x plus 3x is 0. And then you solve for x. So at this point, you've got to add 5 to both sides, see that, to get 5x equals 5. And then divide both sides by 5 to get x equals 1, right? But a lot of students will forget to put in the 0 there. So divide by 5 on both sides, and x equals 1.